What's up guys? In the last video, we created a delay effect and inserted it after the VCA modules. It sounds nice and it works well, but if you wanted to turn the effect off, your only option is to turn the volume down. The audio is still passing through the delay modules, but once they are off to their own VCA modules, they are muted. What we want to do is add a button that when pressed will either turn the delay on or off completely. To do this, we're going to pull this delay effect out of our synth container and put it inside its own container. Insert a new container and go to Properties and rename it Delay. Double click the delay container to open it up and go ahead and insert another I.O. mod that we'll use for the output. Cut the entire structure of the delay effect and place it in the delay container. Next, connect a spare pin from the input I.O. mod to each delay module's signal in plug, and then connect each VCA module's output plug to the spare plugs on the output I.O. mod. Now you can connect the outputs of the main VCA modules to the signal in on the delay container, and the outputs on the delay to the outputs on the I.O. mod. The delay is now set up like it was, except it's within a container. So we need a way to bypass the audio signal before it goes into the delay modules. To do that, let's use a couple X-Mix modules. We've covered these before, in the twelfth video, but we combined two signals then. Now we'll just send the audio through one input of the X mix with nothing going into the other. So connect the signal in plugs to the input A plugs on the X mix modules. And the signal out of the X mixes to the signal in on the delay modules. The X mix modules will give you 100% of signal A and 0% of signal B if the mix plug is past 5 volts and the opposite if it's past negative 5 volts. Go into the X mix properties and set the default value of mix to negative 5. Make sure to do this for both modules. Now the delay is being bypassed by default. If we pass 10 volts into the mix plug, the delay will be activated. So I'll go to Insert, Controls, and add a slider. Go to the slider's properties, and from here you can change the appearance of this control. I'll change this slider to a button, Toggle. The Toggle button turns the voltage on or off when you press the button, whereas the regular button will just turn the voltage on when the button is being pressed. When the button is activated, it will pass 10 volts into whatever it is connected to. I'll also set show readout to false, because we don't really need to see the value. It's either on or off, and we can tell that by the light on the button. Lastly, I'll rename the button to on slash off. Connect the signal out plug from the button to the mix plugs on the X mix modules. Now when the button is off, the delay is bypassed. If you click the button, the delay is activated. This is a nice, easy way to be able to bypass any effect or audio signal. One last thing, I'd like all these controls to be available from inside the synth container, not just over here in the delay container. So go to the properties on the delay container, and set controls on module to true. As you can see, the controls are all jumbled up, so go over to the delay container, and select panel edit. You can arrange these however you like, and they'll update accordingly over here on the delay container. There you go, we've abstracted this delay effect into its own container and added the ability to bypass it completely. In the next video we'll take a look at prefabs and how we can turn this delay effect into a prefab and use it in other projects. Thanks for watching, please rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time.